Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to Summertime Tarot. For those of you who don't know, my name is Summer. All right, I took a little bit of a break, but your girl is back, you feel me? All right, but let's go ahead and get started, see what's going on. We're going to start with an affirmation. So what affirmation would be most beneficial for the fire signs for the remainder of October 2020? Okay. Oh, okay. So we got two here. So we have, my heart is open. A question to go along with that, we have, what can I do to open my heart a little more today? Who can I show more love to? All right. And then your second one, we have, I do not dwell on others' thoughts of me. I know who I am and where I'm going in life. All right. Your question, what can I do to push negativity aside and focus my thoughts on positivity? All right. So it looks like you guys may be having a little bit of issues with some folks. All right. Some people may. I got you messed up. No. <laughs> right. Um, but I feel like here with the my heart is open, you know, you guys may have been. Um, or you may be like kind of holding back like how you're feeling you may be kind of closing yourself off from other people um because you just you know you you may be tired of people's opinions or feelings or thoughts or whatever it may be right but i feel like you know some of you may be feeling a bit disconnected or even lonely because of this right and it's time for you to you know Make sure that you're not kind of closing yourself off um, from other people for fear of how, you know, they may think of you or how they may see you or even just for, you know, to avoid having to deal with other people's words or thoughts, whatever it may be. All right. But let's go ahead and get into the reading here. So let's see what's going on here. What is the message here for the fire signs? I'm sorry, my nose is itching. Huh? Your blessing for the remainder of the month, we have here the sixth chakra, Archangel Uriel. Your challenge, we have walking away. Your message, we have all tied up. And your lesson, we have man holding a coin. Oh, my nose. Oh, sorry. All right. I feel like, you know, some of you guys here with the sixth chakra here for um, Archangel Uriel for your blessing for the month. I do feel like you guys have this idea or you have this kind of knowing of where it is you're, 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 where it is you're trying to go, where it is you're, you know, you're trying to move towards here. But with your challenge here being walking away, I feel like some of you may, may be kind of holding yourself back or even kind of, um, maybe even kind of stuck in your ways to the point where you may be kind of closing yourself off from um, outside information or outside advice or what have you to the point where you kind of block your blessings. That's kind of, that's the first thing that, that made itself clear to me, right? I feel like um, with you know, your seven chakra showing up here as your blessing for the month. This is like an awareness. I feel like a, a deep knowing, I feel like of self, of your your mission, your purpose, where it is you're headed, right? I know who I am and where I'm going in life. I feel like some of you, you know, if you may have been struggling or feeling like you, you know, you may have been lost or you don't know where it is you're going or what it is that you want out of life. I feel like um, 
during this month, you may find yourself like, yeah, I know what it is I want. I know where it is I'm going. But with the walking away showing up here for your challenge, it may be, you know, hard for you this month to kind of let go of, I feel, kind of old patterns or or um, old ways of being um, that may not be conducive to where it is you're headed, right? Um, this could even be, you know, people that you may have to let go of or even just mindsets, behaviors, you know, um, with, yeah, with the message here being all tied up, you know, you, you may very well be kind of tying yourself up or holding yourself back from where it is you you know you want to go because you're kind of stuck in stuck in your head or stuck in your ways to the point where you don't want to kind of try anything new or go anywhere new right my heart is open you know you guys may be closing yourself off from possibilities or opportunities or even help from other people here with this man holding a coin right i feel like they're with this showing up as your lesson for the month, you know, this man holding a coin may be somebody in your life who may be wanting to give to you, who may be wanting to help to you, help you, but you may be kind of closing yourself off from that because you kind of have your own idea about how things are supposed to look or where you're supposed to go um, to the point where you don't want any outside help or you don't want any, you know, anybody to kind of come in and tell you what to do not like you know you got i'm not telling you you gotta listen to nobody because <laughs> i'm not <laughs> Ooh, i can't tell you what to do look at that king of pentacles again but um yeah i feel like you know you may be a bit stubborn here hey some of you may be being a bit stubborn um and it may be here with this walking away, it may be time for you to kind of let go of your idea of, you know, who you're supposed to be or what it is you're supposed to be doing and kind of open up to a grander scheme, a grander possibility than you even imagined or saw for yourself. You know what I mean? But let's go ahead and clarify. Let's clarify these here cards for the fire signs. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, clarifying the seven chakra, we have here the king of cups and the seven of swords. Yeah, so I feel like, right, for some of you, this is a dream. This is, right, we do have the king of cups, right, showing up with the heart. So I feel like um, you guys are kind of opening up to, I feel like, what it is that you really want, right? This could be a person, this could be an opportunity, whatever, a dream, whatever it may be, um, that you may have kind of... You know, maybe even close yourself off to. Um, but I feel like it may be, you know, this opportunity may be presenting itself to you again. But I feel like with the Seven of Swords here, you may be questioning it or questioning yourself, right? Um, I feel like you may be, yeah, especially with the My Heart is Open, you may be opening, but not all the way. You may be like, mm, I don't know, you know, <laughs> I don't know if this is the right move, right? You may not be trusting yourself to, um, or you just may not be trusting your heart, right? Um, to make the right decision, right? Because I feel like with the King of Cups showing up here, um, this is something that you want, something that you have your heart set on, right? We do have the lover showing up as well, right? I do feel like this is something that you that you want in your heart, but you may not be, 
fully fully giving yourself to it you may not be putting your all into it just yet right um and so clarifying walking away we have here the knight of cups and the queen of cups yeah i feel like you know for some of you this is a dream this is a goal that you have for yourself um it could even be you know like a relationship here for some of you um that you may uh some of you may be walking away from one relationship and moving to another one hey that's with somebody but i feel like you may still have like your heart set on something from the past or something that you haven't completely given up which is kind of blocking you from going all into this one thing okay and it may be, you know, a good thing for you to kind of release. I feel I feel like your fears here about kind of making this move for yourself. Right? And so clarifying the all tied up, we have here the high priestess and the tower. I feel like some of you here may be focusing on um, everything that could go wrong, right? You may be putting your your focus on the negative or putting your focus on all of the things that could happen that you know that are negative and I feel like here with the all tied up right um that mindset or that that energy right as they say is going to you know it's going to inevitably bring in this kind of uh what it is that you're focusing on right so if you if you are focusing so much on you know maybe this is for some of you a dream right and you're like oh i can't i can't go all in because this is going to happen and this is going to happen and this is going to happen um eventually you know this tower is going to show up and it's because you've been putting your focus your attention on all of that so make sure that you're not putting all of your energy or all of your focus into um something going wrong or something bad happening right um because eventually it's going to happen it may not happen the way that you you know envisioned it happening but i feel like in the long run you know if if you're avoiding making changes or if you're avoiding um what it is that you really want you know, that kind of doorway, that path is going to kind of close off to you because you're kind of, you're kind of telling the universe, hey, I don't really want it. So it's going to be like, okay. <laughs> uh, don't judge me, you guys. But anywho, so with your, um, your lesson for the month, we have the man holding a coin. Yeah, I feel like here, this is like, yeah, it's like a need for you to kind of to shift your focus here, right? You may be focusing so much on what it is you don't want to happen, right? For some of you, this could even be just be, um, you may be so much kind of like closed off to other people that you're kind of, you may be like burning bridges unknowingly. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you may be kind of shut off from other people or you may be kind of like lit, not wanting to listen, not wanting to open up and it kind of shifts things and changes things in ways that you that you're not aware of to your own detriment so i feel like it's a need for you here with the lovers and the sun to kind of to connect to what it is that you want right and once you start once you start opening up to what it is that you want that's when you will start seeing those positive results you will start seeing all those good things coming in right but if you focus so much on what it is that you don't want to happen that's when you're going to you know you're going to see that negative stuff popping off um yeah but let's go ahead and see what's blocking you here what's the blockage here for the fire signs
Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Excuse me. So we have here the Page of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you may, yeah, like I was saying, I feel like some of you may be closing yourself off from people or opportunities, right? I feel like you may be even kind of, like kind of disconnecting from what you want, but almost, it's almost giving me like a, in a, For some of you, I feel like it may be because you, you know, you're not taking action towards what it is that you want. You're not moving towards what it is that you want. You're kind of waiting around or you're or you're like not taking advantage of opportunities that when they arise or you may be um, even just kind of disconnecting yourself from people, places and things that may be trying to help you or maybe. um could be very much just kind of stuck in your ways where you kind of want things to go a certain way you have an idea about what you want and you don't want to kind of listen to anyone else or you don't want to i don't know maybe even just kind of put yourself out there or communicate with other people right and i feel like that's kind of blocking things from coming in here with the three of wands on the bottom of the deck yeah yeah some of you may you know may even just like not be not have a great deal of focus right you may be kind of all over the place mentally you may not be giving um, enough focus to your responsibilities or to you know for this three of pentacles this could be work this could be you know any kind of partnership or relationship you may just be kind of disconnecting from them and off in la la land focusing on who knows what right and i feel like because of that it may be kind of um putting putting pressure or putting weight or making shifts and changes to your relationships or to your partnerships to your whatever it is you're trying to create for yourself in ways that you may not even be aware of right um but let's see what you can do to kind of get things moving in the right direction Right, I feel like some of you may not even be kind of communicating your needs, right? You may not you may not like want to say anything or want to say like, "Hey, could you help me or could you do this?" right? You may feel like it's I don't know, belittling or just not your thing, and that may be making it harder for you to kind of get things off of the ground, right? But I feel like here, especially with the man holding the coin showing up here, right? It's like with the king of pentacles, right? When I think of the king of pentacles, he's a he's a person who who kind of knows what he's worth, right? And is putting in energy, putting in effort. But at the same time, he knows how to delegate. You know what I'm saying, right? He's not going to do everything because he knows that he has people that are there to support him people that are there to help him right i feel like you may be feeling like you have to do everything by yourself or you may not be even kind of reaching out or ex extending yourself or even communicating your needs and that's kind of blocking what it is that you want to come in from coming in because you're not even like opening yourself up to it you get what i'm saying But I feel like with this this seventh chakra, right, I feel like you have this awareness about what you want, but I feel like you may still have like a mindset that you have to do everything by yourself or that you, you know, and that's not going to, I feel like it's not going to be um, beneficial for you going forward because I feel like you do have this gigantic big idea or goal for yourself and like, you don't have to do that by yourself and if you try i feel like it's going to it's going to be a lot for you and you don't have to you know do everything by yourself and it's not 
what's the word? Efficient. Okay? Work smarter, not harder. All right? Whew. Well, let's see what you can do to get things moving in the right direction. Right? Eight of Wands communicates. Well, let's see. Wait. Oh, wait. Okay. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. A lot of cups here. Again. Yeah, I feel like some of you, some of you may have like this, this need to be right or, or just even like a, You may just want to do everything by yourself or on your own. And I feel like it's a need to kind of move away from that and kind of open up to people helping you, people being there for you, people supporting you, people loving you. Right. Even if it's um, just, you know, you could have just been in a space here with this Queen of Cups where you were very much just focused on your own healing, focused on your own growth, focused on, you know, just nurturing yourself and loving on yourself. And I feel like you've kind of gotten to the point where you know, it's time for you to kind of put yourself back out there to start connecting with other people, to start sharing that love and to start opening up to that love coming to you from all of, you know, all of these places, right? But if you kind of, I feel like, you know, kind of wait around for other people to kind of give it to you, you may feel like nobody wants to give you that love. And it's not that nobody wants to give it to you. It just may be, you know, while you was off doing your own thing, you know, they was like, oh, they all right. They don't need me. And so it may just be time for you to kind of come out of hermit mode and start connecting with people to start sharing your love, right? To start opening up. And once you start opening up, it's just going to be all this love around you. Okay. But I hope that made sense. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, get some dog wisdom see what advice we have here for the fire signs So we have allowing, let, uh, let it, uh, allowing, let it happen. <laughs> Stuttering, it's okay. Let's see, we're going to read from the book. So it reads, when you fetch this card, it means there is someone, something, or, or some event that is wanting to emerge or come into your life, and it's time you allowed that to happen. At some level, perhaps outside your direct awareness, like frequencies too high for you to hear, a development is about to occur that requires you to open up and trust that this is what's most needed in your life now. Allowing means freeing yourself from the leash of resistance and letting your heart bound toward that which will break it open, meeting it more than halfway so that you can be filled up again. If you're dog tired of the way things have been and still are it's especially important to drop your defenses and take the critical step of allowing new things to unfold in other words stop chasing your tail and get out of your own way what is it you need to allow into your life more abundant finances greater closeness and intimacy or opportunities for serving others while serving yourself whatever it is the energy you're holding around Whatever it is, the energy you're holding around it is the energy that will either push it away or allow it to happen. Allow yourself to expand into a new field of attraction by being attractive, ears up and eyes wide open, expecting the next good thing to come along. It could be even better than you imagined. Photograph, make a list of, or draw a picture of what you want more of in your life. Identify why you don't have it already. Be willing to release excuses, self-doubt, and self-denial which no longer serve you. All right. 
But that's all I have for you, fire signs. I hope this reading helped you in some way. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments how it resonated. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I truly appreciate you and hope to see you soon. Peace out.